Hey guys, my name's Kevin, and today we are going to be talking about the Lippert replacement slide-out motor. So over the years, your slide-out motor can start to lose power or just have some chewed up gears on the internal portion of the housing here. And because of that, your slide-out's not gonna wanna actually come in or out. And the solution to that is to find the correct replacement motor based on the serial numbers that are on your actual motor for the motor side and for the gear housing side and then cross-referencing that to find the correct replacement. So when we look at our slide-out motor, there are a few different variations. This one, as you can see, is a double shaft. There are some types where it only will have a single shaft. Um, there's different variations in what kind of connection. There are a lot of hardwire versions. This specific one comes with a connector, and there's a few different types of connectors. So you're gonna wanna make sure when you're verifying with all of the information that's on your slide out motor that your new one is actually going to match up the same way. So a slide out motor is a fairly simple design. It is just a motor and then some gears and what those gears do is spin and spin our double shafts up on our, the outside of our motor here and what those shafts do is they connect to your room bar and your room bar goes over to your gear packs and that's what actually slides on a track to move your slide out in and out. So one other thing is, depending on the type of room bar you have, that's also going to determine the type of motor. So with ours, we don't have a shear pin. A shear pin is just a small piece of metal that has been rolled and pushed through your shaft, and what that does is it sticks inside of the roll, uh, room bar, and then that actually turns it. So on our specific model, our room bar slides over, and then we have a pin that goes through and secures with a nut. On other models, you may see that shear pin which would stick inside and then connect with uh, some gearing that's inside of the room bar and that's what actually would spin the room bar as needed. As far as installation goes it is just going to bolt right up to your factory bracket on your frame and then you're just going to have to connect your shafts to your room bars. So all in all it is fairly simple. You could easily do this yourself but you may need someone else to kind of sit there and work the controls when you're trying to line up the hole in your shaft to your room bar. Well, I think that does it for our look at the Lippert replacement slide-out motor. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.